<clears throat> Good afternoon and welcome to The Balance of Life. I am Pastor Angel Ferguson and I thank you so very much for joining us today. Truly, this is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. It is always an honor and a pleasure to come and spend some time with you in the Word of God. We're going to talk about something that is just so very, very important today. Speaking life. And we must be careful about the words that we say out of our mouths concerning ourselves. Sometimes uh, the thought of negativity and doubt about ourselves uh, enters into our thought life. And uh, sometimes we can begin to say those words out of our mouths. And, and when you speak negative about yourself, about your circumstances, then uh, those things begin to fester. And, and that's where you can see the component of depression and oppression and it is all because of what we have said concerning ourselves and so uh, we're going to share some words of encouragement with you today from the word of god and we want to remind you and encourage you that whatsoever a man thinketh that so he is and and so if you are telling yourself that uh, you're nothing then guess what you're going to begin to uh, speak it out of your mouth you're going to begin to act like it you're going to begin to walk like it you will not believe any good thing that God has to say about you and uh, and and so we have to shift and we have to turn those things around when the enemy comes in with negativity of thoughts of doubt uh, concerning you it is important and imperative that we know what the Word of God says about us a good reference of scripture is over in the book of Deuteronomy that's right over in the book of Deuteronomy uh, scripture text uh, the 28th chapter uh, tells us as we are obedient unto God and we adhere to his voice then we receive the blessings of God and and so you can remind yourself you know what I have God's favor I am blessed I am not cursed the fruit of my uh, of my womb is blessed and and it produces good fruit uh, I do have seed to sow uh, I am above and I am not beneath. I am blessed. I am not cursed. Uh, remind yourself that it pleased God uh, to bring you into this world. And, and it pleases him to protect you and to bless you. Also, remind yourself, I am loved. I am loved by my Father which is in heaven. I am love and I am loved. And, uh, and so we're going to talk about that today. It just really, really uh, has been on my mind, uh, not just this morning, but last night. It doesn't matter who you are. The enemy is going to try to uh, deter you and make you think that you are less than what you are. Another thing that we're going to talk about and touch, there's so much to touch about concerning this and we might do a part two for tomorrow all depends on what we cover if you think that you're going to fail you will I'll say that again if you think that you're going to fail and this is connected to your purpose goals and dreams so yes I think we will cover part two if you think you're going to fail you will fail because you're going to tell yourself you can't do it. You're going to fall into a pit of, of lack of trying. And, and to be honest, the only way an individual fails is when they do not try. When you don't put forth an effort. So, when you begin to think that you're going to fail, connect it to your purpose, your goals, your dreams, your thoughts will deter and cause an effect on your actions and so if your mind is telling you that you're going to fail guess what you're not going to put forth any effort you're not going to try and the end result is that you will fail so we want to turn some things around I'm so excited uh, for each and every one of you and listen I'd like to invite you to visit us and, and be a part of virtual Bible study on tonight 
with Faith Outreach Deliverance Church, Bridgeton, New Jersey. Virtual Bible study begins at 7 o'clock p.m. We are in the building, the sanctuary, but we also offer virtual Bible study as well. Once again, 7 o'clock p.m. tonight, virtual Bible study with Faith Outreach Deliverance Church, Bridgeton, New Jersey. It is on the church's Facebook page as well as I try and share it on my personal page, Elder Angel Ferguson Ferguson. All right, so I am in one of the books that I like, and it's called Growing in Grace. And the scripture text that we're going to take a look at is going to be over in Psalms. Mm, Psalms 141. So write that down in your... Uh, in your notes, Psalms 141, and I'm going to start at the third verse. It says, Set a watch, O Lord, before my mouth. Keep the door of my lips. Incline not my heart to any evil thing. To practice wicked works with men that work iniquity, and let me not eat of their dainties. Uh, now, another translation says, Take control of what I say. O Lord, and guard my lips. Don't let me drift toward evil or take part in acts of wickedness. Don't let me share in the delicacies of, of those who do wrong. So when, we're, when we come back, I'm going to take a break. When we come back, I'm going to dive into this a little bit more. Be back in a moment. And welcome back to The Balance of Life. I am Pastor Angel Ferguson, and I thank you so very much for tuning in today. Be sure to visit us on our website for our College of Ministries curriculum. Our website is www.angelfergusonministries.com. Via the website, you have the opportunity to check out the curriculum that we offer. Uh, you can also order those workbooks that are listed on our website via Amazon or if you're doing a bulk order and you're doing a, a you know a Bible study on your own you can definitely contact us for bulk order opportunities the length of time of each course is listed on the website we've also offered you some Bible study teachings our life applications are also included on our website once again our website is www.angelfergusonministries.com and today we're talking about something that we all can pay, take part in and that is speaking life unto ourselves speak life it is important what we say to ourselves and we gave you a good area of scripture Deuteronomy, the 28th chapter, uh, that is going into the blessings of God, declaring who we are in Him. And we must remind ourselves daily of who we are in Him. One thing that is for certain is that the enemy desires to uh, steal, kill, and destroy. If he can uh, steal any positivity thoughts that you think about yourself, then he can destroy your self-esteem. He can kill your hopes and dreams. And we can't allow that to happen. We also must be careful about who we connect ourselves with. If they are, listen, I don't like, complaining and I don't like negative talk. I do not uh, want to be a part of or connected to anyone who has no drive. Uh, 
everything there's a but. Uh, there's a negative spin on everything that they say. I don't want to be connected to anyone like that. I don't want to hear um, before you even start, you've already counted yourself out. Uh, I don't want to hear that. I don't want to be connected around anyone who is like that. And so when I begin to hear a person say, I'm going to lose this, I redirect the conversation. Have you tried? I will actually say to an individual, the only failure you can actually come to is if you don't try. That is complete failure. But when you have tried, you've gained some knowledge, you've gained some understanding, you've gained some perspective. Listen, you might have to do the process over again, but you're not starting at the beginning. Why? Because you have tried, you've taken some steps, and so you know what to do at this point. So when I say speak life, speak life to yourself. Another thing that's important to understand is we can't speak life to others when we don't speak life to ourselves. Encouragement starts at home. Charity starts at home within. So how can we encourage someone else when we can't encourage ourselves? How can we tell somebody else, I believe in you, I believe in the potential of you, if you don't believe in the potential of yourself? Something to think about, huh? All right, so let's read a little bit. We gave you Psalms 141. We read verses 3 and 4 from the King James Version as well as the NIV. So take a listen to this. It says, David prays fervently that the Lord will guard his words. The New International Version, 1984, translates it like this. Set a guard over my mouth. O Lord, keep watch over the door of my lips. David's prayer progresses along with these lines. First, guard my lips so that no wrong words don't escape. So that wrong words don't escape. Whatsoever a man thinketh, that so he is. And so if you think negative, you're going to begin to speak negative. And then your speaking turns into further actions of negativity. Have you ever found yourself doing things to sabotage your own purpose, goals, and dreams? Well, I'm going to tell you it started in the process of your thoughts. That's why scripture declares that we ought to cast down every thought, every imagination that exalt itself against the power of God. And that scripture text is found over in 2 Corinthians, the 10th chapter. We quote it quite often here, beginning at the 5th verse. It says, casting down imaginations and every high thing that exalted itself against the knowledge of God and bringing into captivity every thought to the obedience of Christ. And so notice it says against the knowledge of God. God already knows who you are. He knows the heart of man. And if God be for you, who can be against you? Not even yourself. I'll say that again. If God be for you, who can be against you? Not even yourself. And so we have to bring our thoughts under subjection of the knowledge of God. What does God say about me? Who does God say that I am? First of all, let's remember that God loves us. For God so loved the world, that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever shall believeth in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. So he loved us that much. Christ, Jesus Christ, loved us enough to come down from the right hand of the Father in the likeness of flesh upon the earth. He came with the sole purpose to reconcile us back to the Father with the right relationship. And so he loved us that he gave his he gave his life. That's right. He gave his life for you and I. So let's start with the love. 
Another place to start with is he knew you, God knew you before you were formed in your mother's womb. And so he already knows your great potential. He has already blessed each and every one of us with gifts and spiritual talents. He's already gifted us. Another thing to keep into our remembrance is that he created us in his image. We are created after the likeness of him. He created Adam. And then from Adam, he took the rib and he, from Adam, and he created the woman, all after the image of God. So remind yourself that I am loved. I am loved by God Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. All things were made by him and for him. You create, you were created, we were created for him. And he loves us. Take a look once again at Deuteronomy, the 28th chapter. Let's go over there together. So I'm going to pull that up on my screen. You know, I absolutely love technology. So I want to take a look at Deuteronomy. Let's go to Deuteronomy 28. And it reads as follows. And it shall come to pass, if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe and to do all his commandments, which I command thee this day, that the Lord thy God will set thee on high above all nations on the earth. And all these blessings shall come on thee and overtake thee, and that thou shalt hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. Blessed shalt thou be in the city, and blessed shalt thou be in the field. You're blessed. I know that sometimes we can look around at our circumstances, at our current circumstances, the current atmosphere all around us, and in the natural eye, it does not meet our, our expectations of where we know we have the potential to go. But I want to encourage you, listen, get up, begin to straighten some things up, begin to model your uh, atmosphere towards the vision that God has given you. That's right. You can do it. You can do, do it just where you are. If you see in the vision what God wants to do in your life. And I'm talking, listen, sometimes your decor can depress you. You know why? Because you, you've, you've received a word of what God is going to bless you with, but you're not seeing it in the natural. Begin to do things in faith. You don't have to do it all at one time. Sometimes, and I'm listen, I'm just going to be very, very honest with you. Sometimes the messiness of a room can bring you depression because all you look around is you see stuff out of order. Well, guess what? Get up and clean it up. Do a little bit every day. Get rid of the trash. Get rid of the junk. Get rid of the broken things. If you have to do it piece by piece and replace it with better. What I am learning is we have control of our destiny. According to Deuteronomy 28 and 29, we can either adhere to the word of God and receive the blessings, or we can ignore the voice and the commandments of God and receive cursings. But our message for all of us today is I want you to speak life to your life. Speak good, positive life to your life. You're not damned. You're not cursed. You're not. There is good in you. I believe that there is great potential in every person. Why do I believe that? Because I know who created you. God created you. He gave our parents and, he, and us who are parents. He gave us the ability to reproduce, but it 
It was by his grace, by his favor, by his mercy, by his love. And so there is great potential in you. We have to work for what we want. And it starts in the mind. Speak positive to yourself. Feed your life with positive affirmations. Feed your life with the word of God. You are beautiful in the eyes of God. And listen, whatever we need to do to, to feel, sometimes, listen, get up. It starts within. Change your hair. If you're tired of the same old, same old, let it begin within the inside. God, how do you want me to take care of your vessel? Change your hair. Every now and then, buy yourself something new. What I want to, to, to get across is, is we have to speak positive to ourselves. We have to speak life to ourselves. So get up from that pity party. No one's going to join in with you. I'm certainly not going to join in and anybody who's feeling down on themselves. But I will give you words of encouragement. I will keep you in prayer to redirect your thoughts about what you think and how you see yourself. See yourselves through the eyes of the Father, which is in heaven. I pray that what we're sharing with you is, is food into your soul and an enlightenment into your path. And I, I want to share a couple of things with you. Don't forget, we have been sharing the back to school supply drive for Bow Ministry. And the pickup date is going to be August the 7th. 2021 at, from 9 a.m. to 11:30 a.m. This pickup day is just that a pickup day. If you would like to pre-register, and this is in the Tampa Bay area, if you would like to pre-register for your child to get back to school supplies, uh, please visit bowministry.org, or you can actually email them at bowministryvp at gmail.com. The telephone number is area code 813-304-7026. And if you would like to, to donate to this drive, please, please, please give evangelist Tanya Walker Singleton a call. She is the founder of Bow Ministry, and Bow stands for Beauty of a Woman. Also in the Tampa Bay area, there is another back-to-school drive going on with Tampa Diamond Divas, and uh, that information is on our personal page as well. We try to share as much information as we can as we see it. Uh, you can always email us uh, your upcoming event. Our email address here is the balance of life one at yahoo.com. Now, for T Tampa Diamond Divas, that's a back to school event which will be held August the 7th from 12 noon to 3 o'clock p.m. at 5400 Bush Boulevard, Tampa Terrace, Florida 33617. That is also on my personal page, Elder Angel Ferguson Ferguson. If you are in the Tampa Bay area and you are a parent that is in need of back to school supplies. All right. And here in New Jersey, back to school book bag giveaway, Saturday, August the 28th, 2021, 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. at Redeeming Life Full Gospel Ministry. The address is 246 Irving Avenue, Millville, New Jersey, 08332. And that is being done by the host founder, Elder Beverly L. Darisol. Once again, these events are on my personal Facebook page, Elder Angel Ferguson Ferguson. If you have a community event that you would like for us to share um, by uh, passing it along via social media or by making mention of it on the air, all you have to do is email us. Our email address is thebalanceoflife1 at yahoo.com. And uh, you know what? As promised, I wanted to share 
a bit of a word from yesterday uh, that uh, Saturday uh, I accompanied my father, Apostle Naaman Wilson Jr., uh, for a baptism. And the, one of the individuals, a young man, uh, he gave some words of encouragement that the Holy Spirit had given him. And so I'd like to share that with you. But we're going to pick up uh, also part two. We're not done with this speak life unto yourself. Uh, we will air more with you on tomorrow. But I wanted to share these words of encouragement um, from this young man. strategic way like we were going at war and so how he gave it to me the name was the body of christ so that's what we under we, we're under the body of christ right. one body many members so everybody connected to us is a part of the body of christ and right now uh we're going we're going to see who are we I, i'm asking the question who are we in galatians 4 1 through 7 now i say that the here as long as he is a child is not dip different all from a slave though he is a master of all but is under guardians and stewards until the time appointed by the father even so we when we were children were in bondage of the elements of the world but when the fullness of the time had come god sent forth his son born of a woman born under the law to redeem those who were under the law that we might receive the adoption as sons and because you are son god sent forth the spirit of his son into your hearts crying out abba father therefore you are no longer a slave but a son and if a son then the hear of god through christ so just to explain who we are we sons and daughters of god and we're under his and if it's here uh jesus came under the the, the bondage of this sin this flesh and he he perfected his flesh to save us and he, he put his perfect body on that cross to save all of us so he he made us his sons and his daughters by his, his perfect his perfect life that he he ultimately didn't need to share but he had to share for the love of his father and the, the father's love for us Amen. so we're we're sons and now we're gonna go to romans 8. For as many as led by the Spirit of God, these are sons of God. For you did not receive the spirit of bondage again to fear, but you received the spirit of adoption, by whom we cry, Abba, Father. The Spirit himself bears witness with our spirit that we are children of God. And if children, the heirs, and the heirs of God and joint heirs with Christ, if indeed we suffer with him, that we might also be glorified together. So, uh, the Holy Spirit led me to that verse because um, not he didn't say this walk was going to be easy. And he said, if we're going to suffer, if he suffered, then we're going to suffer with him. And if he ran, then we're going to reign with him. It's just all it's all up to us what, what we want to do. If, if we want to be of this world and be uh, sons and daughters of the devil, then that's what we're going to be. But if we want to be sons and daughters of God and Jesus Christ and follow him, then that's what's going to come with it. We're going to suffer but we suffer for the love of God and not suffer just because we not suffer long suffering because the, the ultimate glory is when he takes us up and he, he said, God, well done, my faithful servant. Amen. 
All right, isn't that awesome in this young man? I believe he is 17, 18, somewhere up in there. What an awesome uh, word that, that, that he's been given to share. And so it's such an honor to be there in the presence as he shared what the Holy Spirit has given unto him. That particular video is on my personal Facebook page, Elder Angel Ferguson Ferguson, and it's from Saturday. So if you want to go over and watch that video of the young man sharing the word of God, please do so. Don't forget to join us for Bible study tonight, virtual 7 o'clock p.m. via Facebook Live. Uh, it will be on my personal page, Elder Angel Ferguson Ferguson, and we'll be back tomorrow as we continue our topic on Speak Life. Have a blessed day, everyone.